Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Brave Exit video, and we're going to be looking at Xenogears units. So, let's look at them. Um, decent TMR for him, of course, but also for the sap resistance. There's not a lot of that, so I'd probably get a co few copies of that if I pull him. If I pull him. And then his STMR is just good for him. And then his vision card is not very good, but usually um, collab vision cards are never really that good anyways. So, unfortunately he is not a true Brave Shift unit, even though he has a Brave Shift. At least he's not an SLB, but I prefer that he had uh, infinite turns, but okay. And then basically his, he's just copy and pasted almost from his other, his five star form, which is remarkable, but... They could have at least made this three stacks of evasion this time around instead of two. Um, and then like only 100% machine, like they could have increased, they could have made this a lot better. And the reason why this is was decent back then because his LB had a defense break on it, like a really decent high, highly high defense break, but does not have it this time around, I believe. But he does have premium mods 120 times. Also, 20% machine killer for himself. Now, these imbues are kind of pointless. I'm not sure why they even exist. Uh, there are some resistances on them, though, and that could come in handy. Yeah, th these could come in handy, maybe, I guess. And then he has 106% machine killer for everybody, so that, at least there's that. At least he's got that going for him. Obviously, he's a TDH unit. And. 750% for, for light units, which is decent. And then you're, never, you're really not going to be pulling this off. Uh, the Xenogears allies, maybe you will, but most likely not. 40% whip and peril. So if he was actually a dark unit, which I was hoping for, but uh, he could actually be useful in uh, Dark Venus team. Uh, unfortunately, he's a light unit, but it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. So 40% 40 whip and peril is pretty high. I think this is the highest in the game because uh, Kimono Dark Fina was the highest at 35%, I believe. So he's got 40. You could still probably make it work. But he's 24 hits instead of 27. Dark Fiend is 27 hits. What can you do? They, I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. So four, 430 times plus the 100 times you get for uh, equipping an, um, one of those one of those things you get 100 times with. Plus 120, 120 times. So that's premium mods. At least for non New Vision Plus units is premium mods. Uh, pretty decent, right? And for some reason, he loses this uh, this thing here in his ratio form. And he doesn't really like, gain anything from from it, except this, I think. And he gains that cooldown, and then the cooldown is forty percent with Mahiral, which is decent, I guess, and uh, eighty percent light resistance. It's not even a hundred percent. Whatever. He's good, but he's not a breaker. In the typical sense, he has very low breaks. So, if you're hoping for a light breaker that was going to be like a limited version of Prompto, you're disappointed. He's just DPS with some support stuff and then high whip and peril. And so, he's good, but he's, he's not amazing. He's just good. Yeah, he's just good. I don't think he's like super amazing or anything, in my opinion. I'm still going to pull from his dental gears, but I was hoping for a little bit better than this. What can you do when you when you when when you're basically the only one person's working on this at this point? I mean, it's pretty clear that only one person's working on on the kits because like they copy and pasted a few things of his kit already, and then they made some useless abilities. Like, what's all this stuff? So it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and give him like a eight. I think it's pretty generous. He, he can deal a lot of good damage. Uh, so there's that. And then we have Maria who is the Neo Vision Plus unit. And I don't even understand why the, what the point of this even is. The 50% chain cap. There's absolutely zero point to that at all. There's, might, as well, might as well pretend that doesn't even exist. Because uh, there's just... I don't even understand. If that was a hundred hundred percent chain cap material, that would make her like much better because then you wouldn't have to equip something else. So you might as well just pretend that doesn't even exist. No flat stats, so I guess only 
um, the last guy, the last clad being, I don't remember what his name was, Stern, I think it was. Yes, Stern. He had flat sets on his S humor, but of course she can't get them. So, it is what it is. Vision card's not very good. And then, it's just a, it's a she's the, basically the same copy and pasted um, unit. She's much weaker in her base form. But that's okay, I guess, because at least she doesn't have any... She doesn't have, any, to have to worry about any, um, any, any kind of like, a, oh, you have to use an amp or something. Nope. You don't have to worry about any kind of five turns on for an STMR or anything like that. So at least there's that. And her base, her brave shift form obviously is going to be the strong one the 510 times. And at least that is 27 hits, but of course... Why? I just noticed that. Why is why is Bart twenty four and then she's twenty seven? So they can't even work together at all. You could still make it work, but it would be like, what? Why? Why did they do that? I hate when they do that, guys. They they do it all the time. Like for example, the Final Fantasy Eight banner was. Um, Kiefer and also Squall, they had different chaining families, so you couldn't put them together. And then they're doing it with these guys too, like, why? <laughs> why? 25%, you know, in, in perils, you know, you kind of expect that at this point on uh, New Vision Plus units. So she's good, she does a lot of damage, she's a magic damage dealer. She has got the store buff, she's got the modifiers, but she just needs some su support. So Fina is like the only option. And then. I, I guess she can, she can't even equip fists, what? Okay, so she can't equip fists, but she does have a rod, she can't equip a rod, so at least you can get some, you, there are many ways of getting rod in perils, so at least you can have that. I mean, I'm probably not going to be equipping stabs, but at least you can have some rod in perils going on that higher than 25%, decent I guess, right? So I'm going to go ahead and give her an 8.25 kind of pains me to say that but it's the truth I hate that they are different Bart and Maria are different chaining families I don't really understand what the point of that is in a perfect world in a different dimension somewhere both of them are the same chaining family so that you can run them together so that she can be under his leader skill base when there will be no issues but sadly that's not the case and now we have the paywall unit Dwayne who for some reason has this picture, just ignore the picture. And 500 flat stats on his STMR there, pretty normal. Not a very good vision card, but it's fine. And of course he's SLB, and just like on Global, um, he's basically not really an LB unit, I think, right? He's more of an ability chainer, and that's the kind of same thing here. So he just is an ability chainer and his SLB gives him a lot of modifiers for his uh, chaining stuff. He also has, I think he has it, yeah he has 8 times cap. So he's just, I, I feel like he's, he might be weaker, I'm not sure. Let's look at his global version because I already forgot. <laughs> I already forgot it guys. Um, looks It looks pretty, looks pretty much the same. He doesn't have any of this stuff, but It's basically the same thing, except he's not an ability. It's not. A, he's just a straight up an ability chainer instead of a, a LB regular LB chainer like he was doing there. Oh, he, he has that too. Never mind. He does have that. So he's almost the same. He's almost the same. Like there's almost no difference, right? Uh, except his is morale scaling. And he has 24 hits instead. And... Well, the base LB is much stronger on Clash of Wheels, but we don't have Clash of Wheels on GP, so... I guess that's okay. Um, yeah, he's fine, I guess. His SLB is the SLB is the normal chaining stuff. He's okay, I guess, for, for a paywall unit. Most people probably won't get him, though, because he's just a, a DPS. And I've kind of learned my lesson at this point. That these kind of DPS are kind of fading off really quickly. Like, I, I, I did... Um, Chizuru, I got her to EX3, and then I barely used her. Now she's already faded out, so I'm probably just gonna not just do. I'm not probably not gonna get Dwayne with my tickets. 
I feel like I just wait for the next one. Because Sylvie was worth getting. But this guy, I don't know. I don't really need any of the stuff that he offers. Unless I like need like a new fire DPS, I guess. I don't really think I need that though. And then we have Graphs, um, Crowns plus New Vision plus Awakening. And I'm going pretty fast. I'm not really, I'm not going to give a score to Dwayne because he's a paywall unit. So most people won't be getting him anyways. And he's already out on global, so he won't be coming to global. So there's not much to score in terms of that. He has 150% amp, of course he will. The only thing that, that really scared me in the morning, I didn't see anything change with his uh, cooldown over here on, on, on his ratio form. That really scared me a bit. Yes, it's still strong, kind of, I guess, but there's no changes to anything really. He gets 150% amp, and there's almost no other changes. Like, this needed to be a lot higher. This should have been 2,000% uh, tw uh, instead of 1,000%. Because that would have given him a lot higher stats. That would have given him probably um, 2,000, uh, 20k attack, which is pretty normal for for a Neo Vision Plus unit um, under leader skill, of course. This should this should have been a lot higher, and I don't understand why they gave him dual to stuff. Maybe he had that already, um, but there's no reason to have dual. Uh, well, he does get a times cap. I don't know if that's gonna be, I don't know. Is it worth it? That's gonna have to be like some math. We're gonna have to math that out. I don't know if that's worth it to equip weapons and lose that um, unarmed attack. And then just have him dual wield. Cause he can only equip claws or fists or whatever. I don't know, that, that's gonna that's gonna require us a bit higher up, higher up than what I can think about in the morning. Uh, and then his LB is decent. It's like 500 something times. So at least there's that, I guess. But he never really used his LB, it was kind of just like filler. It was just kind of filler, so it's okay, but it, you never really used it. It might be decent though. And like, I was, like, I was just expecting more from this, but it is what it is. I mean, I, I was really expecting a lot more. I was like, when I, when I went, before I went to bed, I was like, oh, he needs this, this, and this. And then he didn't get any of the things that I wanted him to get. Like this getting a small upgrade. Uh, these becoming higher, slightly higher, maybe like 125 times instead of 100, uh, 100 times. He got almost nothing. And certain, the amp makes him a lot better, but like, I don't know how long he's going to to last this time around. And uh, whatever on this. Uh, I guess this is just filler. Waiting for waiting for him to go back to his rave fit form. So I mean, he got eight. What we'll have to see if this eight times is worth removing that unarmed thing because that was the big thing that made him lot made him really strong. I guess nowadays, since the Nova's units can get so high to about where he was when he was unarmed, anyways, maybe it's worth it to do eight times cap and just lose the un unarmed. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know yet. We'll have to find out. Maybe I'll make a showcase or something if I can figure out a way of doing that. Alright, so I think I'm going to give him an 8.5. I think he's got some good upgrades, it's just not a lot of good upgrades. It's just They're just okay. I just wish they would have been a little bit better. Like, if they came to me and say, Hey, how can we upgrade this guy? All you need to do, make these a little bit stronger. Make this like 50 times, make this 125 times. Or even 150 times if you want to be even numbers. Um, Give this like 75 times for each one and make this unarmed 2000%. Forget the dual wield. You can upgrade the LB and you can make it chaining. Make this 40% fist in peril. You can keep the 80 times because that's pretty normal on. I, that's pretty normal on um, older Neewas units anyway. So you can keep the 80 times, I guess. Or you make it make. 100 times maybe because that was it was already 80 times anyway so you can eat this 100 times and then that's it that's all he needed but didn't get any, didn't get any of it it is what it is so I'm, i know i'm being I'm, it's a rant in a xenogears video and i love xenogears that's why i'm, I'm saying that i'm saying all these things so i'm disappointed with some of these units that came out but i'm still gonna pull for them i'm still gonna try and collect them but it's going to be tough. New Vision Plus units have a very low rate. I think I'm going to make a video on this eventually talking about the rates and I don't like them. 
I, I think that they're terrible considering what you're getting. A uh, very powerful unit, but all they need so much support. And I showcased that in my Dark Pina video. You saw, despite her doing pretty good damage, she could have been doing a lot more damage if she had a higher whip in peril and she had a higher or a higher um, Dark Ant, which I wasn't able to provide. So that tells that showcased that they really need support. Like that, you need to babysit them throughout the entire fight. There's no, oh, you you know, at the beginning they're. They need to be babysat, and then later on they can do more damage. No, you, you literally need to babysit them every turn. Every step of the way, they need to have something to do more damage. I guess that's the way we're going with this game now. We're just... <laughs> we need we need to have supports for D DPS for, you know... Usually supports were just for everybody. You know, j they just buffed everybody up, and they made everybody strong. But now you have to make them only them strong. So, it is what it is. Alright, so... The links will be down below if you want to support the Zeno Gears fund. I don't normally ask for stuff. I don't normally beg for stuff. I'm not really, I guess it is begging a little bit. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, if you want to help support the Zeno Gears pull fund, if you want to make the video even better in terms of pulls, and you want to make me go crazy, and uh, go ahead and look at the links down below. I'll make sure in the, in the pinned comment. And uh, that'll be it. I only care about this banner, and if there's a part two, I'm really screwed. <laughs> Hopefully there's not a part two or else I'm really screwed, because I would be using all my lapis on this one banner, and well, two banners, technically, and I would be really screwed if there's a part two. All right, guys, love ya. Peace.